beautiful palace on the heights. The Legion of Honor holds priceless collections of art. Rainbow fountains splash and sparkle, and out beyond lies the blue Pacific. The sea's clean salty spray dashes on the cliffs below, where golf courses literally hang out over the ocean. Flying over the surf, the plane quickly spans a swimming pool of warm salt water a thousand feet long, the largest in the world. Rippling water, restless with the tides, and wide sweeping beaches stretch for miles down the coastline, an expanse of enduring beauty. A renowned landmark, seal rocks, all the year round, these silky creatures roll, tumble and play in the sunlit fall. Dipping our wings inland, we fly over Golden Gate Park with its placid lakes, graceful swans, and drifting boats. Like a medieval castle in delicate rows, the De Young Museum in the park contrasts warmly with its cool green surroundings. It houses rare bits of beauty from the far corners of the globe. While its neighboring garden transports us to Japan in cherry blossom time, where every year in surroundings typical of their country, the graceful maids of Nippon in their ancestral robes observe the birth of spring according to their native custom. They come to the park to spend many happy hours amid the dwarf tree, limpid pools, and curved bridges so reminiscent of their colorful homeland. Pointing our plane eastward across the blue expanse of bay, we come to the University of California, with its symbolic campanile. And in just a matter of minutes, our red bird spreads its wings over the artistic Spanish architecture of Stanford University. Full of wild, fantastic, and varied grandeur is Yosemite Valley, carved out of solid granite, as though torn apart by giant hands. Mile after mile of verdant woods and meadows, shadowed by awe-inspiring cliffs and peaks. Rippling streams come chanting in chorus through the valley. Startling vistas appear through the trees. And springing to life, waterfalls roar over majestic granite walls. Animals have no fear in this land of stern peaks and singing waters. Tranquil and beautiful is Mirror Lake, reflecting the glories nearby and the faraway snow-capped peaks. Eternal, invincible. Giant sequoias, the world's oldest and largest living things. Solemn, colossal trees, their venerable feet planted deep in Mother Earth, warmed by the ever-moving shafts of sunlight which pierce these cool green corridors. Like a veil of old Spanish lace, bridal bait falls downward, soft, misty, a miracle of color crystal spray in this land of glaciers, forests, and granite. A short flight brings us to the Monterey Peninsula with its unique and wind-blown cypress trees, the seeds of which were planted here by the early Spaniards. Del Monte, a favorite playground of motion picture stars and always a scene of lively activity, especially in the Roman plunge, artistically set in a sunken garden. With all of California to choose from, adventurous Spanish explorers selected Monterey for their first settlement. In this region of calm, blue water, sunshine, and beauty, they found all they required for happiness and contentment. What a far cry this modern scene is from the days of dark-skinned noblemen, conquistadors, padres, and courtly dons. Once again in Cisco, we pause in our flight over a beautiful reminder of the Panama Pacific Exposition of 1915. The Palace of Fine Arts seems to be dreaming of days long past when the Tower of Jewels, with its myriads of scintillating lights, illumined all around. When there was music, laughter, dancing feet, light, color, and romance everywhere. We must leave you now to your dreams, dreams of those other days. And we circle Telegraph Hill, famed in poem and fiction, San Francisco. Of it and of its people, many stories have been told, and many more shall be. But a thousand tales shall not exhaust its treasury of romance.